We're moving on. We're going to another caller here. Um, let's talk to, I think, Yasir. Please correct us if uh, if uh, we're pronouncing it if, correctly. If you, too, have, have your, butcher, right. your name butchered by the ACA. Yasir calling from India. Um, what's going on? Hi, you two. So, Hello. Thank you for accepting my call. Of course. Did I get your name right? Forrest, yes. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you so much. Yasir. Yasir. Okay, okay. great. Yasir, how's it going? Yes, it's great. It, like I said, I'm from India. It's around 2 a.m. here, so I'm trying my best not to be too loud. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Thanks for staying up late for us, man. So, so what do you want to talk to us about today? So, yes, so fortunately we have a biologist with us today. So I want to discuss a bit about speciation. So yeah, well, I learned a bit about this in school. And after that, uh, I just heard about this in YouTube mm -hmm. again with forest videos. Yeah. So, so do you have a particular question about it or just like in general? Christian schools. Mm, mostly in general, because like like I was saying in school, I studied in a Christian school. So when the topic of evolution came up, there was the teacher was like, "You can just study it on your own. I'm gonna not gonna talk about it because I'm not believing in it." Yeah, yeah. So what do you think would happen if you t tell a bunch of fifteen year olds you can study this on your own? Right, exactly. <laughs> I always I love it whenever I, I if you talk to a science teacher at one of these schools that you know, uh, tries to avoid the topic of evolution or they try to, uh, they say, oh, I, I gave it a fair shake, you know, I taught it, whatever. Just ask them to define it or ask a simple question about it and see if they can handle it. You know what I mean? Generally speaking, it's like, you know, that, that guy that called in earlier, Tom, very adamantly against it, has no idea what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mostly, I just went into it using my own studies, like my own online research and stuff. And yes, and, uh, so I, I am a fossil collector. I used to collect fossils since I was young, but I didn't know what I actually was until I saw Jurassic Park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Just now I'm... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't know where you want to Coming make to this call so. specifically. Was there like, w you know, was there a general topic you want to talk about? Maybe an experience you had? Well, you was asking about speciation. Is there a particular yeah. question that you have about speciation, or is it just like like trying to understand the concept as a whole? Yeah, so, uh, so it's kind of like a, a tiny question, but we can discuss it further if we have time. So yeah about speciation so like i said i was studying about this online and i came up with the topic like the dogs evolving into i mean the gray wolves that evolve into dogs and cubs evolving into goldfish and stuff like that yeah so that's a simple thing like one species to another that's very easy to look at and we can do it on our own and we have been making use of it for millions of years and that's okay that's easy to understand of like and all the stuff so but i like i said i'm a fossil collector and recently i got a bunch of fossils that show that human evolution stuff so yeah i want to talk a little bit about that like how can one family change to another like yeah okay. appreciation it's like one species to another that's a bit understandable but one family to another i have a so like, you're talking about like grass. big, big changes, oh, like not yeah. just one species, but like actually like one kind of animal to another kind of like that kind of thing, right? Yeah, like a, like a best example with the fossils I have is like a fish to a tiktaalik. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So what's really important to remember about this is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll start with the concept of species. I know that's not what you're asking, but it's important to kind of get the, the, the gist is that like, it's important to remember that a species isn't a real thing. Yep. It's just a label that we made up that we Social put on construct. Stuff. It's, it's, right. It's just a thing that we use to define stuff. And, and there is no single set definition of what a species actually is. If you ask somebody, generally speaking, you know, if you, if you talk about the concept of species in, in, in you know, everyday terms or in a, a middle school science class, they might say something like, if two organisms can't reproduce to produce fertile offspring, 
then those are two different species. And that's what's called the biological species concept. But if you listen there, that's, it's not the biological species law or theory or rule. It's just a concept. And there's lots of other species concepts as well because that concept of what a species is has a million exceptions. And it doesn't actually work when we're in the, in the day-to-day when we're trying to, like, draw a line on what a species is. It's not usually very functional in, in, in our everyday life. And so there's an ecological species concept which is all about the places, the niches that, that organisms inhabit in, a, in, a, in an ecosystem. There's a, a phylogenetic species concept, which is all about their relationships to each other. And there's several different subdivisions of the, 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 the phylogenetic species concept that all depend on how you group things together, right? Um, and so when we talk now about you know, families, about, about uh, higher classifications from species, it's also important to remember that those lines are also pretty arbitrary. If you want to have fun, look up the definition of a fish. And you'd think that it's just like, here's five things that make you a fish. But that's not, because fish is a very, it's what we call a, para, a, a polyphyletic group. It's this huge, weird, it, it's like a, it's a, a generally poikilothermic uh, aquatic uh, animal that is sometimes covered in scales, and when not is this other thing, and it tends to have these kinds of fins, but if it has fins, and something, yeah. and like, so there's this big, weird, you know, and so like with some species or some with some groups, it's pretty easy to draw a line, especially with the really big and really small groups. It's pretty easy to draw, like, it's these the, the these five things. But when you talk about something like, you know, a fish to Tiktaalik, for example, um, what's important to remember is that Tiktaalik was still a fish. Um, Tiktaalik was a sarcopterygian fish, which means he had great big uh, uh, lobe fins with thick wrist and hand muscles that allowed him to push himself along. And then you go the next step up, pick one like Ichthyostega, which was a proper tetrapod living on the land. By classification terms, because of this cool thing called nested hierarchies, um, we could say that Ichthyostega was still technically a fish as well. It just had these other qualifications that now also made it this other thing. And so we're just going to call it a tetrapod now. And you can go all the way down to, you know, from that amphibians to reptiles to, to, to the very first mammals, you know, the mammals evolved 220 million years ago. So like you can now draw this line and say, okay, so now these things are, they're, they're, they're generally warm blooded. Not all mammals have been, but like generally speaking, they are, and they have fur and they lactate and they have a, a, a post anal tail and they have a, you know, a, a, a notochord. So we're going to, okay, so here we've got these things that now we're going to call mammals, but technically though, technically they're fish too and it's just this these new qualifications now that we're going to add on there and so this is actually a fun thing you can do if you want to blow somebody's mind when learning taxonomy for the first time piss off people like tom that called in a little while ago is that if you actually arrange these properly because of these things is what we call these these nested phylogenies these hierarchical ways that we we arrange uh, our, our family trees you could absolutely call every land animal that isn't a, an insect a fish and it would be right uh it's the same way that you can call birds reptiles um, so yeah, that, that's, that's the best answer I can give you is just to remember that these taxa, yeah, so, these, <laughs> these groups are, are, they're just our labels for looking at life as it is now, looking at the fossil record and we say, okay, it has these qualifications, we're going to lump it in this way. And those qualifications, those things that made them that, we can track their, their evolutionary history and a lot of them evolved independently several times. So we can kind of make these little boxes and not a single one of those boxes is a simple cut and dry thing. That was me talking for a long time. Yes, here, does that answer your question, or is that what you're at? Or did I completely blow it, and you had a totally different thing to ask about? No, I get that. So mostly when I, I try to explain stuff to my family members, I just say, like, our hands and legs are just higher forms of fins, the yeah. evolved forms of fins. That's how I explain it to my family members. Yeah, it, it, it's hard because, like, a lot of times when we, when we talk about things like higher forms, like we mean really complex, you know, animals and plants and things that are really, really interesting and intricate. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it sounds like we're talking about things that are more important or more evolved or something like that. And that that's nonsense. It's, it's why I hate the phrase like the Big Bang because the Big Bang sounds like there was an explosion and then planets came out. And that's, that's not what I thought. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that's meaningless. But so it's the same thing. We talk about things like higher formed or complex life forms, mm. things like that. It sounds like I'm more evolved than a bacteria. And that's just not the case. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's just a different classification. Yeah. It's, it, they have different qualifiers than I have, and, and, and if I met XYZ qualification, then yeah. I would fit them, and if they had XYZ qualification, they'd fit me, you know what I mean? That's one of the most annoying things when people are like, oh, we're more evolved than other species. Yeah. When, people, when anybody says that, it's like, okay, you have not read enough. It doesn't make sense. Like, it's like, you, that's not how evolution Everything works. that is currently alive is as evolved. Yeah. Everybody should know. And like that's just, so yeah that that's that's thing it's it's that these these groupings that we do when we classify life when we do taxonomy and phylogenetics and we classify things uh, it, it it all boils down to like trying our best to lump things in together and that doesn't always work there's a reason why you know the word uh, pachyderm isn't used anymore we used to have the 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 group called pachyderms which was like elephants and hippopotamuses and things like that and the word pachyderm literally means thick skinned and so we're like okay so here's all these giant land animals that have this really thick weird skin and they do this and and it turns out like as we actually dig into it that you know, uh, hippopotamuses are more closely related to blue whales than they are to elephants. It doesn't actually work that way. And so now we classify elephants as a new thing, which we call proboscideans, which means, you know, proboscis. They got that big long trunk. And so we have that going on. And, and, and uh, you know, uh, 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 hippopotamuses are definitely artiodactyls, which means hippopotamuses are yeah, you know, so pretty closely related to, like, deer. And that's pretty cool. So, like, it doesn't – it isn't always as easy as it is the first time, but it's just that was one group that we drew up. And it turns out we were wrong, and so we changed the group. It doesn't yeah. mean that they changed. We just changed the, de the definition. And it's the same thing with any kind of speciation. It's just they now fit the new definition of the new thing, so we're going to call it that. It doesn't mean the boxes actually exist. Yep. <laughs> yep. That, a lot of words. A lot of words from Forrest. Yeah, sorry. I'm just spewing. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> It's okay. So I've been watching most of your videos and every time I look at the video. So one thing I haven't practiced that I that I pride myself on is that whenever I hear something, I just don't believe it. I just go and research on it as much as possible to get to know like what what he's talking about or what, what it's coming from and all yeah. that stuff. So like I said, I'm pretty close to what... Forrest is saying, I, I understand about 90% of what he said, except the complex terms that well, you start, yeah, understand everything. Good thing is, this show is recorded, so you can go back and you can make lecture notes, yeah. and you can ask Professor, uh, you know, Falkai <laughs> if, if you have any other questions, and, and I'm sure he'll answer them in future yeah, shows, no, it's, right? it's and i appreciate you like don't don't ever like anything that i say don't ever just take it for granted you right. absolutely keep checking i've been wrong before i've been wrong on this show before i've, I've said something that was that was stupid and then i had to go back and, and correct myself the next time i was on so like yeah i it, that's always the best way to do it just question absolutely everything especially me 100 percent. anything else you got on that nope not much. I got my answer. Awesome. answer. So just awesome. a, a personal thing. So is there any re uh, resources or books, anything that you can suggest for me to uh, learn more about this? anything any good books about this um i mean if you want to learn just about like the history of life in general and like how we we group things now and where those things came from uh there's a book called the ancestor's tale which was by richard dawkins i think um and it's a thick bitch of a book and it's awesome and it'll go into everything about like how how these, these different traits and different groups and everything where they came from um and that's radical um, as far as actually just learning about like like uh what we would do like cladistics or systematics like when we you know break things down uh, that's something you I don't I can't come up with a book off the top of my head that just would be interesting for anybody but like um, that's something that, that you can absolutely research more very easily online but I would recommend the ancestors tale if you want to get into like just learning what groups are and where they came from and why they are the way they are that's a pretty cool one yeah and I don't have any good books I think uh, Forrest probably gave you enough book reading for that <laughs> that, um, that book will take you a while to get through it's 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 intense right uh, well with that out of the way I think uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up this call then thanks so much for Gave me a call in. I, I don't get to talk to people from India. This year was super nice. I know. A nice dude. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I think you, you need to put on a lab coat for us. Yeah, no, that but way people will believe me. Yeah. Forrest Valkai, the science guy. What do you think? Valkai, the science guy. Valkai, the it, science it, guy. It, it, it rhymes. It works. See, Bill Nye, I don't think he can own the, the science, science guy. guy. Yeah, I no. think anybody can be the science. He must be a science guy. Yeah, he's a science guy. Bill Nye, be... a science guy. <laughs> so he's just a science guy, guys. We'll call him after this and tell him. What <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, you can uh, you can work with that. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Oh but no, I'd, I'd be into it. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> he seems like a, he seems like the kind of guy who wants to share. <laughs> I that. think he'd be cool with it. Oh uh, no, he seems nice. Sure. If as long as you were like educating the public. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. I'll get a bow tie. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Not, that might infringe on his personal it's, brand it's, a bit. Yeah, exactly. You know? A copyright infringement. Maybe I'm you a, need a, a, a regular tall, tie. skinny, white guy with a bow tie. <laughs> yeah. It can't be two of us in the universe. <laughs> right, right. If we touch, it'll annihilate. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly.